from the school to walk straight. We're live. Well, we was raised up bright and thoroughly school to walk straight and narrow. <laughs> we got nothing to show, everything we own wouldn't fill up a one wheel fare. <laughs> we got no money Good in the mattress, got no money in the bank, and there ain't no job to be had. And we're live on April 20th. That's 420. Uh, at 11 p.m on channel 11 with the Rivertown Rats with whom you are familiar so you've been spending much time with us <laughs> oh. my shape went down my wrong too And of course, I need to say hello to Kara in case she doesn't stay awake and call tonight. <laughs> but she's in Pennsylvania, so she can't be blamed if she doesn't because it's 1 o'clock in the morning now already. <laughs> and this is our home video. <laughs> open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Yeah. Trying to open the door? Yeah. Apparently, we're going to have a commentary tonight. Ready? Good evening. How are you? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been joined in the control room with the keyboard. Keyboard, yep. Keyboard. Yep. Playing the keyboard. He recently discovered Bugs Bunny playing the piano. And so ever since then he's been kind of more into the keyboard. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I hope it's something he decides he enjoys. <laughs> he seems to enjoy it, look. <laughs> and he's in my store already. <laughs> he can play scales and Yeah, cool like uh playing keyboard. Probably, probably knows, his, keyboard. knows his chords better than I do. <laughs> yeah, just by ear, you know. Because Bugs plays classical music, which is good for your brain development. <laughs> and so does that little mouse that stirs his stirs. <laughs> Tom and Jerry is his other new favorite anyway. And in one of those episodes, the lady just goes sneaky heaven music. Either you know what I'm talking about or you don't and you don't care. <laughs> or you don't and you do care, in which case you can ask. But I'll have to go home and look at which cartoon it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Not so hard that it breaks it. Ah. <laughs> 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 hey, Mama. Hi. Gentle. Well, you guys are much more interesting anyway. <laughs> I'm just sitting here drinking my milkshake. Milkshake's <laughs> 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 the yard. I'm thinking about how I was thinking about staying up more. Doing what? Standing up more. Did my other girls for a while. <laughs> if you've been sitting down for a while, you'll feel your body start to <laughs> shut down a little bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, it, and, and I don't know if I sent you that article, but I found that standing up, just the act of standing up more than doubles your rate of metabolism. I think you did. Yeah. And it makes you feel better too. That's why sitting in the car is so hard, you know, because you can't stand up and just <laughs> tell your body you're awake. Noise. Right. Noise. Noise. Can noise. you hear it good? Mm-hmm. Hey, me, that one. What? These? 
Yeah. You want to hear well, these? This is yeah. Tuesday, I think, going to uh, the dealership. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's getting our oil changed. <laughs> no, no. Is, is it louder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful. Don't pull that. <laughs> yeah, that's a microphone. <laughs> the uh -huh. I've got little toys and a nice little mm -hmm. area for kids to play in, movies to watch if you want. So parents can focus on the sale. <laughs> I mean, what they're buying. <laughs> Now, dude has what? been a car salesman. He was a car salesman for about five years, right? Grew up in a dealership. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make enough money because he wasn't really a crook. Not that car salesmen are crook or crooks or anything. Well, That's no. not what I'm saying. Hopefully not. Some are questionable sometimes. <laughs> well, that's, that's true in any industry. Right, exactly. I'm just saying that in sales, there's a certain art to it, and some people have have that art down to such a degree that maybe sometimes they forget who they are in the course of making the sale. That's all I'm saying. Right, right. <laughs> you know? Sales is one of those things where you just don't make a lot of money unless you're really mm -hmm. fortunate or you... Some people are born to sell. Well, yeah, or you're really good at it. Some people can sell and still be really honest. And you got to respect those people because that's that's really a skill, you know, it's a talent. But other people are snakes in the grass and they know who they are. Sleazy <laughs> <laughs> buggers. But you know, I'd like to know the industry where that's not true because I want to sign up right now. If I don't ever have to watch my back and everyone's trustworthy all the time, that would be fantastic. Wouldn't it? <laughs> It's nice when that's generally true, though. <laughs> You're not even listening. That's okay. I'm kind of hearing, but... <laughs> I know. I'm you little, guys are playing. It's I'm fun. I'm a little preoccupied. Believe me, that is much more fun than whatever garbage I'm spewing. <laughs> but then, you know what? If you never had to watch your back and everything was cool all the time, you'd get lazy. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, Hi. can't have that. Spider? Spider? Yeah. I think that's why people think we have to have a war. Maybe you're right. <laughs> have what? More what? A war every once in a while, so we remember to keep our guard up a little bit. Just enough, you know. <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing tonight? Feedback. Are they standing close to their television or did they hang up? Standing close to their television. Are you sure? It's not like a Look how bright it is in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were standing right next to their TV. Oh. <laughs> It'll help if you back up a little bit. Maybe. Back away from your television. <laughs> Just back away. <laughs> But yeah, it would be nice to live in a perfect world for a while and just see what that's like. See if human beings make the best of themselves. Gentle, gentle. Do you think we would? If what? Do you think if human beings lived in a perfect world all the time, mm -hmm. that they would make the best of themselves? Hopefully, yes. No, I'm asking what you think. Oh, I'm asking right if that's now? what you think Probably would happen. Not. <laughs> okay, uh, but why? Just the uh, way people are right now. Are people different now than they've always been? I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. All I know is what I've experienced in my lifetime, so... Yeah, I'm curious, though. Because there's been quite a population explosion in our lifetime, so maybe all the aberrant behaviors have just become more noticeable because there's more people, so there's more of them. And because we have more ways to disseminate the information and all the pictures and all the horror of it all. You know? That's much better. What about the pretty background? Oh, it's, oh, it's us in the dealership, isn't it? <laughs> what happened to your mic?
Oh, you're trying to modulate for the phone? Feedback. Don't want too much feedback. Yeah. He wanted to hear the music in here. Oh. So that's like a stock, that's like a stock bit, right? Yeah. No. Oh, I mean, that's awesome, man. You're just really jamming there. <laughs> For sure. Totally. Hands free. <laughs> Hands free. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're not even close to the keyboard. <laughs> that's what I said to Julie. She said, um, we were talking about if, if you should trust your kids. Oh. Hello, how you doing? Hey, is this the dude? Yeah, this is dude. Hey, dude, what's up, man? Hey, this man. Is, uh, this is uh, <laughs> Kara's husband. She's uh, friends with Pete uh, online on Yahoo. Oh, hey. Oh, right, cool. Hey, is this Pete? Hey. Hey, Pete, what's going on? It's Rich. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Well, they can't see us, dude. What? They're in Pennsylvania. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, you have to. You have to see us on YouTube. <laughs> no, no, we're not Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is for uh, for uh, the uh, the Quakers. We're in New Jersey. Oh, okay. They're New in Jersey. Jersey. They're in New Jersey. Sorry. New I can't even do that, man. The I'm from Minnesota. The accident because I watch a lot of Anthony Bourdain. Right. Every time he goes to Jersey, he sounds like that. I don't know what yeah. that. It's like when we talk to. It's like when we talk to Minnesotans, you know. <laughs> I forget he can't see me when I wave my hands at him. No, I, 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 would, oh, right. I would love to be able to see you guys. Uh, <laughs> well, the station is looking at getting a live feed, but uh, we don't know when that's going to happen. The computer lady says she has a lot of stuff to do before she can really focus on that. So. Uh, I'm sure it's, it, it's going to happen soon, and uh, that's going to be fun because we'll call in often and we'll be uh, doing the live feed thing. Well, that'll be awesome. Kara's one of my favorite people, you know that? Uh, you know what? I agree with you, and she is probably my favorite person in the whole world. So well, I, I would I expect know exactly so. what you're talking about. Yeah, she says the same thing about you. Oh, uh, you yeah, know that, know, right? Know. We, we you have know that. that kind of uh, that kind of way about it or something. Yeah, we're kind of like that too. People uh, are like. I can tell. People are like, how long have you been together? And we're like, um, what is it, 14 years almost now? And they're like, really? It's like you're, it's like you're newlyweds. <laughs> we're like, yeah, yeah you know, it's, it's funny because it's funny because like Kara and I will meet like like new couples. We'll just go out and like meet new couples, uh -huh. and like they'll be around us for like 10 minutes or something like that. And then they're like, oh my god, you guys are totally soulmates. And then like, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no. Can I swear by the way? Oh, I can. And so I'll be like, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we answer that? Did you answer that? It always takes me a second to catch up with what's happening here because of the speakers in the studio, so. Right. Sorry oh, yeah. about is that. There, is there swearing aloud? Uh, all I heard is that there's like, oh. like TV or something. No, yeah, it's 11.15, so yeah, uh. it's no big deal. Okay, so nobody's gonna. So the FCC is not gonna be breaking down my door, right? Uh, well, they'll be breaking down our door, but that's okay. We know how to deal with them. We're we're. All right, sweet. <laughs> yeah, you guys are totally survivalist, right? You guys yeah. are totally survivalist. You can just like leave the house and, and live off the land. Well, yeah. if we had to. I'd rather just We'd drop rather not, drop but. drop chow in front of them and say, "Hey, ah. kiss this." <laughs> you forgot to switch the camera, oh, man. Oh, here, yeah, that drop chow. <laughs> yeah. And he totally doesn't get the effect, man. Right, right. He'll get it later. Yeah, yeah, you'll get it. You'll get it on YouTube, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Car was like playing part of the YouTube clip for me, and I, I, I don't know if I was busy or whatever, but I, I couldn't watch it very long. But hey, you guys are, uh, you guys are great. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we, we understand. Thank yeah, you. I, I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I guess we'll have the FCC to talk to tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Uh, don't get them on the line. They're going to come to New Jersey and arrest me in a second. No, but did you hear our son? Woohoo! I don't know how much the mic... Yeah, I don't know how much the mic is picking up for you, but as soon as I said that, he started laughing his little tushy off. No, I hear I hear him a little bit, but it's not much. No, he's... Yeah, he's not right right in my microphone. Yeah. Yeah, well... what's up? Hopefully that'll come through in the in the in studio audio. Anyway, yeah. so what's on your mind tonight, Rich? 
I know so, how you know, it is. That, that, that reminds me, the whole reason that I was calling was to call to tell you that we were going to call back uh, together in a few minutes. Oh, but hey. I just, okay. but I just enjoy talking to you guys anyway. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> well, that'll work out great then. Yes, yes it did. All right, I, I, Keith, I got a question for you. Okay. All right, uh, and I don't know if this is uh, this has already been brought up, but uh, did you did you introduce the Celestine prophecy to Kara? Hey, Aaron, we used to um, we used to be big in the Celestine prophecies. Yeah, I think we talked about. I'm not sure if I'm the one who uh, brought it up first or not. I don't know, but I know that it's one that I talked about that we really enjoyed. We yeah, really you know, learned a lot from. Yeah. Because well, uh, I just uh, I just finished reading it. Kara tried to read it a while back, but I don't know. She wasn't really interested in it at uh -huh. the time. Uh huh. So I just finished it. We were, uh, but she's gonna reread it now because because uh, I'm like talking her ear off about it. <laughs> <laughs> that happens, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's so many uh, synchronicities that come out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a microphone stuck in your hair. You know Wait, the don't move. thing is. The, the interesting thing is, like, because uh, we've uh, been in the law of attraction and the secret and, you know, now it's Celestine Prophecy and we're getting into some other, other like, Eastern religions and right. stuff like that. Right. And it's just amazing how, it, like, coincidental it is with uh, everything relating together. Well, yeah, or, yeah, coincidental or synchronistic or, or just the fact that everything that happens has to intermesh into everything else that happens one way or another it has to because everything that happens is part of everything else right so right oh yeah you know absolutely, what i mean absolutely yeah so so when you think about it that way you realize that it's not like some far-fetched theory it's not like you know some way out there thing it's the fact that you know it's like you can't throw a pebble into the water without you know the, the ripples happening right and they kind of ripple through until they fade out. And that's the way everything is. It's not, it's not science fiction or some kind of fantasy. It's, it's the law of attraction. It's the law of physics even of, you know. Exactly. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what my big epiphany was, Pete. Okay. The dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what my most recent epiphany was. Okay. Uh, I am, uh, I'm like a... Uh, Intellectual, like analytical type dude. Hi, so, mm -hmm. Not like the dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm not super Hi. analytical. <laughs> yeah, see that, and that's been kind of like my my detriment. So my whole thing was getting into uh, law of attraction and all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is uh, I've always looked at it as an intellectual exercise rather than a uh, lifestyle and like decision making on a daily basis. Uh -huh. And that's been. That's been the difference, really, in the like, last week to week and a half. That's been the, that's been the difference in uh, my realization of it. Is it, it, it's not an intellectual exercise. It's not yes. reading a book or watching DVD or, or watching this stuff. It's actually like it has become your truth. Exactly, your uh, you truth. You are sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I say sweet peas, right? Sweet. No, mine says dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yours says sweet. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, Rich. That's nice. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that's... But it, it, isn't it interesting? Because uh, it's like, uh, it's like uh, a little bit of enlightenment. And Karen and I went through that last night. We had like a four and a half to five hour conversation. Oh, I love that. Some, some like deep down love time. That's awesome. Totally cool. But, now, but why it is like, it, now, why is it... Now, why is it again that she didn't call? Uh, because she is chatting online with, uh, with some girl or something like that. Ah. Uh. No, I, I guess it's a friend of hers or something. No, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> <and> <laughs> I'm glad you did, though. Anyway, uh, I've been looking forward to this for a long time since I kind of met Kara. Actually, yeah. the first time. Anyway, I'm sorry. I totally disrupted and totally Please took don't. us off track there. I told you and Kara yeah. had an epiphanal, epiphanal, is that a right, is that a right word, epiphanal moment? Yes, sure. Yeah, but, but there's, there's a difference, it's not me and Kara, it's me. Just you. She, she, had, she had her awakening a while back, I and, understand. Uh, and I'm, I'm catching up, so the fact that I'm catching up and I'm on the same level as her brings us back to the same, uh, the same love that we felt a long time ago, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know how that you know how that kind of slingshots around where it's like the ne the next thing will be where where you know something is where she comes to you and she says you know I just 
I just kind of thought about this, and and she'll be repeating it back to you, and she'll she'll hear you saying it to her. So it, the next time it'll be something you brought around to her. Do you see what I'm saying? That's oh, yeah. the way it kind of goes in these things, isn't it? Oh yeah, and it's, uh, it's like a deeper connection. Yeah, you're, when, when you're on the same, and, and we've always been on the same page. Yeah. But but for like really like the last like year or so, we've, we've been a little bit on different pages. Yeah, and I understand. Now, and that and that was my question. You know, that's kind of like my question about life and relationships. Is is it is it normal to go like from from oh. one page to another and then come back? But I, I don't think so. I think uh, I think it's the uh, happiness of being on the same page with your uh, with, with your love all the time. You know. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think. Hmm. For me, I think I would have to say to some degree, I think that there's room for some kind of, of that kind of slingshotting around where, you know, one of you is kind of maybe a little ahead of the game in one place and maybe the other one of you is kind of bringing you something else so that you're kind of, you know, offering different things in the mix, but that in the middle you're always kind of meeting and you're always together in the important places. Do you know what I mean? Ah, boy. Does that make sense? That, is, that makes sense. That makes, that makes, Perfect, clear, perfect sense. That is absolutely true. Yeah, well, I don't know. That's just how it works for me. So it's kind of because it's kind of like I, I guess for I guess for us, it's just been in the last few years that we've done some more of that kind of like we move away from each other a little bit more. But there's always this kind of place in the middle where you're just kind of melded, you know, and then and then you move kind of outside of that a little bit. But you're never separate, and you're never well, you know, it, it it may sound kind of queer the way that I put this, but uh, the way that we've always looked at it is like you have to kind of like, like uh, the love that we have for each other is kind of like a muscle, and you have to like work it out sometimes and expand beyond the realm of, of, of what the normal love is in order to make it uh, bigger than what it was before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally, I totally would agree with you there. So there's, so there's points where you're, uh, you know, you work out the love, and maybe you're a little sore, and maybe not uh, as connected. But <laughs> once, once that, once that kind of uh, works itself out, you're like the, the, the yeah. you're like couple or individual or, or really everything for it. Yeah, you're not always happy that you had to do this kind of little growth thing, this yeah. exercise. But you know, you're kind of glad in the end because you know you feel better and you look better together, and you, you know, <laughs> things yeah, are good, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying exercise. I'm not saying exercise your regular muscles because I don't do that very much. But I'm saying exercise the love muscle, and I don't mean that. I don't mean the love muscle like that. <laughs> no, I totally hear what you're saying. I totally uh, do. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> he hears you too, man. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. What? Oh, he's on a totally different page from both of us. So. Yeah, man. But I love him anyway. <laughs> uh, playing in the control room. I think he was kind of watching Little Dude, but... Oh, I think... yeah, I, 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 love the, I, I love the pictures I've seen. Little Dude, uh, <laughs> and, and I, I love uh, Peace and the Dude. What a great name. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, Dude gave me mine. Did and he? Then, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, he couldn't remember my old one, so we changed it when we got married. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to remember. It didn't really fit me. Yeah. It was hard yeah, for me yeah. to say. What? You're, you're the first person I've ever, uh, ever uh, spoken with named Peace. Well, thanks. I think I'm the first person I've ever known who's named Peace. So, I knew so. I knew one guy. I knew one guy who was though, but I wasn't sure if it was his real name or just his alias. Everybody yeah, used you know, aliases. I hear you. Yeah, that was in the mid '90s, so everybody but was. I, uh, you know, I almost would like to be known as the dude, but I can't take over the dude's name. And I'd like to be the dude. Well, but the dude is every man. Ah, ah you are so poignant. Ah, <laughs> ah she's so sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Don't know that is true. Dude, Karen's, totally, see? Karen's, Karen's, Karen's like, Karen's totally jealous right now that I get to uh, speak with you guys myself. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Peace, let me ask you a question. Uh, okay. <laughs> Because you, because you and Tara have been uh, like talking online and everything for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys never actually spoken. No. Oh my God! I'm totally, I'm totally the first one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I feel so honored. You don't even understand. I feel so honored. <laughs> well, so do I. Like. Well, she's, well she's, been, she's been talking about you, like, forever. I just, I, I just figured that you guys were, like, phone buddies for, like, once a month or something. But, like, apparently No, not. I've never spoken with her. Ever. Uh, well, oh, well, hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to delay the tension anymore. Here, uh, I'm going to pass the phone over. Uh, I don't think so. Here, here, I'm going to pass the phone over to you. Hey, you guys are great, and I'll talk to you again too. Thanks. Well, thanks, Rich. Thank you for yeah, calling. We'll talk to you later. Hello, Kara. Hey. Oh my God, I'd hug you if I could. Hi. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Am I on? Am I on TV? You are. Yeah. Well, sort of. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Idaho. In Boise, greater metro area, and some of Oregon, and um, I think that's about it. And I'm then, a really big fan and of then, Oregon. And then the entire world on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> oh, you need to put up her thing, too, Crane Photography. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah. Did you do that already? About to. I will give you a shout-out right now. This is Cara. She's my friend, and this is her company. And if you're anywhere in the New Jersey area or anything close to it, then you should call her. New She's Jersey, really good. Philadelphia metro area. Say that again. The New Jersey and Philadelphia metro area. There you go. Oh, Give her a call. Traveling. Go check her stuff out. You'll like it. Oh, <coughs> and if oh. you don't like it, keep it to yourself because okay. it don't matter. Hopefully I spelled it right. Well, it does because <laughs> it's your opinion. But, I mean, is it really important to tell people no. your opinion when it's not good? Unless you're giving constructive criticism that maybe someone's asked for. That's what I think, you know? You know. Hey, who doesn't who doesn't like it? What? Who doesn't like it? Who doesn't like what? I don't know. I can't I'm having trouble what? hearing you guys. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> People always do have trouble hearing us. Yeah, our audio is yeah, that's the way freaky. It is. <laughs> we do the best that we can though. So I'll try to speak as clearly as I can. All I'm saying is is that they should go and look at your stuff. And I think oh. that they will like it. But if they don't, there's no need for them to offer their opinion. I'm open to all opinions. I know you're open to all opinions. I'm just saying that people don't need to be unnecessarily harsh or mean. <laughs> is all right. I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Right. I think we could make a better world if we would just moderate ourselves a little bit. You know what I'm talking about exactly. I know you do. I do. <laughs> because you and I have shared some opinions on this. <laughs> but I want to make clear before this goes on YouTube and everybody watches it and then everybody starts going, somebody said something about somebody said something about blah, 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 blah. That nowhere in any of this were any of us about these? talking about anybody in particular. <laughs> I'm going to take those. Except for each other. Yeah. Go. Me and Kara talk to each other about our neuroses on occasion. Mm. What? Yeah. <laughs> now, is that, is, that a, is that little dude I hear in the background? Yep, yeah, that he's, little dude. Uh, he is, he's um, attempting to... Whoa. <laughs> he's, he's testing our headphones right now. Uh, well, now you can't see him, of course. He's elsewhere. <laughs> we got to get him and Jack together. She can't see them anyway. Well, I, know I know we need to get him and Jack together, and then somewhere in the middle is Michigan, and we can stop and get Tamara and Eric and DJ, and yeah, we'll have DJ and DJ yeah. and JC and... <laughs> Me and Rich and Jack were out in the dirt today. We were digging for worms, and we were catching snakes and catching fish. Awesome. Cool. It was awesome. Awesome! You live on a little I caught, land I caught there, a right? snake and it shit all over me. Oh, can I curse? <laughs> <laughs> they will do that. Was it a garter snake? Pooped, it pooped on me. Wait, what? I oh, caught a oh. snake and yeah. it pooped on me. <laughs> yeah, I heard you the first time. Yeah. <laughs> the whole world's going to hear you now. <laughs> That's so funny. No, I, that I swears. Them, and they pooped on me many times. Hmm? Well, they do that, you know? They do. Yeah. That's a funny thing about snakes. It just occurred to me that snakes poop when they're scared. <laughs> kind of correlates with human snakes. Yeah, like, like, uh, oh, no, no. Yeah, the way careful. when you scare them, they poop in their pants. And they run away like little girls. <laughs> For you yeah. to poop on. I'm not like careful, that. Careful, careful. I know you're not like that. I don't okay, think you probably ever run away from you. Rich and I are both okay. um, snakes in, like, the Chinese calendar. Yeah? Yeah. But, oh, I see you what you're saying. So, but you don't put well, but you you don't get scared very easily. We'll plug it Never. in. You're more like um, the kind of snake that doesn't get scared. I don't want to say cobra because I don't really see you that way at all. That's cliche. No, I'm a black mamba. 
Really? Black mama. Are they very open and honest? Are they very like kind of, well, I'm right here. Ready? I'll bite you if you get near me. But see, you don't, you're just not a biter. Are you a biter? Me? Well, maybe you are. I don't know. Depends <laughs> <laughs> on the situation. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, maybe you want to put up that cream photography thing. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No, they'll, they'll get the wrong impression. <laughs> the, 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 like, yeah, what, well, what I, was, I was aiming for... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt your business or anything, Carl. That's okay. <laughs> Give you a little, like... No, we, you, should, uh, you should definitely send me, like, your cell phone number so we can talk. I don't actually private. have a cell phone, and my if I had one, it wouldn't work up where I live anyway. We live oh. up in the mountains. Yeah. You have, a, like, a landline? Like, a yeah. landline? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's antique. <laughs> a telephone? What? A telephone? What in the I mean, world? You plug into the wall? Are you kidding? Hey, I'm just giving you a hey, hard time. You know that, right? Hey, do we have a phone? A telephone? Do we have one of them things anymore? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think we. So got the one. only way to talk to you guys is in front of the Greater Boise, Idaho area. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can talk to me online. Yeah. No, you can call me on no, my landline. Can... I'll give you my phone number. I'm just not going to do it right now, right here. Yeah, we're not oh, going to approach. What happened, baby? <laughs> no. Is he you. upset about something? He might be. Oh, no, he's not upset. Okay, he's not? <laughs> okay. If he's Should not upset, you don't want to think he is, because otherwise he gets all mad. Oh. I'm not upset. Should I check if he's not upset? No, he's fine. Okay. He's right here. <laughs> yeah, he's a little sleepy. I know. So how does your show work? Like this. Yeah, just kind of... Do you have a theme for the evening or anything? Uh, right now, you're it. Yeah. Oh, oh, be be fashionable too. Oh yeah, our, yeah. I guess our theme would be be fashionable. It's whatever be statement we decide on for the week. Last week it was be. Yeah, it's be fashionable. Okay. You're fashionable, right? Oh, I can't afford to be fashionable. I've seen the drunken bikini photos. Oh, sweet. <laughs> they were fashionable, baby. <laughs> They've got no stop. <laughs> I, I can be fashionable without being materialist. I know, I know, that's what I mean. I think you're very fashionable. I've seen your photos. I think that the things that you take pictures of are beautiful. And when you take pictures of beautiful things, I think that indicates how you see the world and the way that you see the world is kind of your fashion statement. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do. You might be able to demonstrate that through your clothing and your jewelry and whatever, I don't know. Or you might just demonstrate it in your spirit, which is what you've always done. Right. Which is why, even though Rich is so shocked that we've never actually spoken to one another, I've always kind of felt like I know you a little bit. I know. I think that kind of freaks you out a little bit, because you always disappear after I say something like, Oh, look at me, talking about that right in public on the TV. But, you know, this is the telephone for me, so. <laughs> You're going to get my yeah, phone conversation, I'm, I'm so I hope you don't mind. What? I'm a phone -a Well, not right now. That's why you I had know, Rich call I me. Know. <laughs> yeah, but see, you have to understand, though, we're all kind of like that. Nobody really wants to talk on the phone. Well, there right. are people, no, there are people who do. There are people who do, and they are gifted. I think, I think it's more of a gift to enjoy talking on the phone than it is, than it is, like, abnormal to not want to, because the vast majority of people I talk to are like, I don't want to talk on the phone. Right. <laughs> I need to really think about my response, and then, you know, come back with something really intelligent and profound. I can't do that on the phone. I sound like an idiot. <laughs> well, that's what you think. See, that's part of why we do this show, and that's part of why we're going to put it on YouTube, because then you'll listen to yourself and you'll say, I don't sound so stupid. Oh, I'm going to hate hearing this on YouTube. Okay, well, you don't have to listen if you don't want to, but I promise you don't sound stupid. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you how I know, because I talk to you almost every day. I know. I've heard... You're like my, my free shrink. <laughs> Oh, well, good. <laughs> I don't know, but I've heard all of our stupidest responses. We get as stupid as we can possibly get sometimes in the Mod Squad, don't you think? And I think it's awesome. It's fantastic and fun, and I love it, and I hope it never changes. It's, it's an interesting psychological experiment. How much can you hear? The world. <laughs> what, in the outer world? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Is that what it is? <laughs> to me. <laughs> ah. No, I mean, so I, I get involved personally, uh, you know, a little bit. But well, 
No, I totally understand where you're coming. Soci it was a sociological experiment is, is kind of the term we tend to use, so I kind of got thrown there. But yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Like, I, I, I try to stay, I try to keep my ego out of it and observe it from like the super ego or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But you'll find in time that that's not, that that's not being impersonal. You'll find in time that that, that that once people realize that um, that's that I'm having a hard time now see this is where phonophobia comes from and then you watch me do it and you go who cares because everyone right now everyone's just watching the pretty scenery in the background the whole movie and they're just going oh look at that oh keep your forest green oh that's pretty oh look at that so anyway what I'm trying to say is that once people realize that you're the person who always comes from that place in yourself they realize that they can depend on you to be fair and to treat them fairly and to give them truth and that's like the best thing you can ever offer anyone even if it hurts and even if it's hard and even if they hate it and even right. if you hate it you know you know how hard it is you've already seen how hard it is yep. you know but you you'll love it You'll love it. Not not everybody does because for some right. people it's hard and it sucks and people are too mean and you know because people are mean and that never stops. Right. But that's okay because some people have to be sometimes. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Anyway, so now we're getting all deep and heavy. It's not going to be entertaining and you know what? I don't care. My show. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you guys to know, though, that we stayed up until 1.30 in the morning. I know. I told guys. everybody that I didn't know if you were going to call because it's really late there, and I would appreciate it if you did, but, you know. We're usually in bed by, like, 9. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you going to be, you don't have, like, you don't, you're not going to be sacrificing. You'll find a way to get extra rest tomorrow, right? It's worth the sacrifice. Okay. <laughs> But okay. I think we are going to let you guys go. Do you want to talk again, honey? I don't know. Hey, Pete. Pete, the <laughs> Hi. Hey, um, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you guys finally got to talk. Yeah, we are too. Well, it's, I mean, it's, uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, you guys are both phone but I'm totally not. I guess you can tell because I made the first call. You made the first call? I'm sorry, I missed some of that. I was, uh, cause, because I, I picked up the phone and dialed. Okay. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I can't... Okay. I can't always understand on these speakers very well, but if you've watched some of the show, you might know that. Well, anyway, uh, anyway I, I really, I'm really uh, glad that you called. I really want to. You really want I, to? I don't know. Watch, watch your show? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's like Kara and the Celestine prophecies. If uh, not that we're like this, uh, no, no, it's like <laughs> yeah, totally. We're it's we're like, like anything on that, that level somebody for recommends sure. to you, and then you go, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's cool, and it is cool, but you just don't have time, or you just don't feel like sitting there doing it at any given time. I understand that. I totally, totally get that, man. That's why yeah, that's that. why we come on at eleven o'clock at night is so that people can like people who are just like flipping through channels and got nothing better to do can like call us if they want to. Yeah. I know, I know. That's so awesome, <laughs> and I, I really wish you guys would like, uh, uh, like your TV show was nah. on in uh, in Jersey. So I'm totally be watching it right now and uh, and loving it. Well, we keep trying to push, you know, Fox and and now, well, actually, now we want the BBC. Yeah, to BBC pick us up. America, because you know. Because Fox didn't pick us up BBC. yet, and we've BBC. been on for six months. Yeah, come on, man. So well, you know what? I like BBC America. I like uh, Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares, but I'm sure there's other good stuff on there too. Yeah. There's <laughs> on, there's a there's other good stuff on there, I guess. On what? Oh, on what? On Fox or on BBC America? No, on BBC Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. Oh, I know. I love that show. See, I, I watch everything that he does. Oh, it's for right now. Right? Yeah. I'm just a big Ramsey file mm -hmm. right now, yeah. But uh, I don't know, he's yeah. going to kill the pigs pretty soon, and I'm not sure if I'm up for that. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know if you watched the F word. Uh, That's his new show. That's on no. Sunday mornings or something. I don't know what day it's on. I think yeah, it's on it's Sunday cool. mornings. 
and he's raising these pigs in his backyard this season. He's going to slaughter them for, you know, for food. Yeah. And and that's, you know, and it's like, well, that's mm-hmm. a thing to do, but I don't know if I can watch Plug it. Plug off. I know I'm soft, and I know I should know where my food comes from, and I know I actually have, you know, re- raised a few pigs myself for slaughter, but mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't I like it. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able Plug to raise it. I wouldn't be able to see an animal every day uh, of any sort. Even like these, these stupid squirrels in my backyard that steal all the birds. <laughs> right. You know, I still, I still wouldn't want to uh, like personally or know that uh, they died uh, for my food. Right, right. It's funny because, you know, I think if you were in a survival situation, you wouldn't know those animals well enough to care. You know? Oh, that is, that is a very good point. Because uh, if I'm starving, that same squirrel that's stealing my bird feed would just as easily be thrown on a fire and be delicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yep. and also you're like more survivor like Survivor Man. <laughs> yeah, do you watch that ever on Discovery? I do, I do, and I find it uh, a foul in most cases, but also very necessary to watch. You find it? You find it what foul in most I, cases? I find it. I find it foul in some situations, but then I'm like, all right, if I had not eaten for three days, what would I eat? Uh, you know, I'd oh, yeah. uh, right. eat the testicles out of a pig. Especially right. at about that that sixth seventh day, if you haven't eaten much. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. Yeah, sixth or seventh day, man, I, I'd probably eat my own hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about what it comes to. So, yeah, but but we watch him religiously too. We like that we like that show a lot. I think I like his presentation. I like the way that he, you know, uh, kind of shows you the way it is. He doesn't try to juice it up too much. Yeah, but you know what? The the whole thing is we bought this house in the woods, and I feel like I'm like outdoors because we bought this house in the woods. (laughs) But I'm totally not. Like I wouldn't even camp out in my own backyard. Okay, put these away. Yeah, we can relate to that. (laughs) For now. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe, you know, that's going to be my goal this summer is I'm going to sleep out uh, in the backyard as a family. Not me, but us as a family. We'll sleep out in the backyard one night. Oh, you've never, never done it? No, I, that's what I'm saying. The only, the only time oh. that we camped out was, like, in our living room. How clear is that? Oh. Well, it's a start. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you just yeah. have to get uh, used to being in a tent, I suppose. Well, no, you don't even have to get used to it, but it's a good idea if you want to. Yeah, I mean, I would right. suggest getting used to it before I go, like, driving out into the wilderness somewhere and trying to pitch a tent and live in it for a week or a month. I hear people say, I'm going to go out live in the woods, and it's like, you know what, we did try that. And it ain't fun, and it's not easy. Yeah. So you make your preparation. So I'm saying, what I'm saying is, if you haven't done it, you need to camp in your backyard this year. Yeah, go pitch, <laughs> go pitch a tent in your backyard. And first. you guys will enjoy it. Yeah. I know that you and Kara... And Jack will enjoy it. I enjoy oh, pitching right. a tent in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's being well, a little dirty. <laughs> I, think, I think we could totally uh, sustain off, off the land around our house. I think, how much land do you have? Uh, it's not much. It's, it's like an acre, but we have a creek right in the backyard. Yep, you probably uh, could. Yeah, and we got we got we got fish in the backyard. I caught three fish today. Yeah, they were perch, and they probably wouldn't be very tasty. But if I was really hungry, oh yeah, they would be delicious. And they're really good food if you have to eat them, you know. Oh. And honestly, for me, the nutrition is more important than worrying about a little bit of mercury here and there. I know it can be a big load right now, but I think that if you were in a survival situation, you would want to eat the fish and worry about the mercury later. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You know, I, I wouldn't even uh, think about mercury. I yeah. would just uh, eat them and, and enjoy it. Yeah, uh, I don't even know if really that's. Hungry. Yeah, I don't even know if that's an issue, but you know that, that's yeah, what they talk about every time we talk about. What's that? I, I don't know if mercury is an issue either. I suppose yeah. it could be, but uh, I don't. I don't burn my thoughts with it. I suppose. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you going to do if it is right? But yeah, yeah, an acre is a good is a good portion of land if you know. If you know where all your stuff is and you know how to find it and forage it? Well, that's the problem is we don't know how to forage anything. Uh, oh. you, you should see us. we got like three bags of open cereal because Jack doesn't know what cereal he wants in the morning. Yeah, I know, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't require like that you live off the stuff that you forage. It's just, you know, you, you guys have some books. I know, I'm sure you do that you could take out and just grab, with, you know, diff- what we do every year is like, is like little dude just goes around, he picks at this and that and the other thing and he asks me, can he eat it? He asks me what it is, he asks me. 
So we just kind of learn that way. So he kind of understands the process of eliminating plants and um, you know testing plants and that kind of thing. You know, yeah. so so it's just kind of a everyday kind of thing that it's just kind of natural that you expect the the world to kind of yield the things that you need. But of course, of course, we take advantage of the modern world. Of course, we you know eat cereal in bags and 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 boxes and of of course we do. We're modern people. No, I, I totally understand what you meant by forage. I think I misinterpreted the uh, definition of the word. Uh, but what I'm saying is, uh, what I think is, you guys have like a base knowledge about like the land around where you live. Oh. That, that we just do not have. Like, uh, like I don't know what kind of flowers or, uh, or berries or whatever that me. I have no idea. Well, yeah, but that comes. You're learning, right? Well, Kara, Kara, just says, Kara just says that she knows what kind of berries and stuff that uh, we can eat, so I'll just rely on her. Well, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much what dude does, too. I bring him stuff, and he's like, I don't know, should I eat it? And I'm like, I'm like, well, you won't like this one, but you should try it. And he'll try it, and he'll be like, well, it's not that bad. Or he'll try something that I think he'll like, and he'll be like, oh, this is gross, and he won't eat it, but at least he knows what it's like, you know? Well, and some of that was just where it was from. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true, too. He didn't like cattails from a backyard in North Carolina because it was swampy and gross, and I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have eaten them either except that I grew them there, and I felt like I had to. We, had to, we were trying to acclimate ourselves to the toxic waste in their backyard. <laughs> and we're still trying to get rid of it. Yep, that's why we live here now. I apologize to people in North Carolina, but those of yeah. you who live where we did know that it's true. Yeah, so. we're cleansing our systems here in Idaho. <laughs> beautiful country. <laughs> anyway, North Carolina's beautiful too, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this here is kind of better for our systems anyway. I can't handle the humidity. It gives me asthma. Yeah. I have asthma bad enough here. That's my one thing. You know what, Rich? That is my one thing. I want you to tell me how I can make my body not have oh. asthma anymore. <laughs> how you can make your body not what? Not have asthma anymore, ever again. Oh, look, I, if I had the answer to that, then I, I'd be uh, <laughs> a millionaire or something. Well, one day I, it will be, right? Right. Yeah, I'll, 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 look, I'll do some internet research and I'll get back to you next week. Oh, all right. That'd be way cool. Awesome. <laughs> it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning there for them. Far out. Yes, <laughs> Party on. These are, these are my normal biz working hours. Yep, that's at, actually at, true. At my job. He works we, 7 to 7, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. We probably have regular work tomorrow, or at least Kara does. I, I don't really have regular work. What does what regular work mean? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do this for a living. I was going to say, you don't have to get up early in the morning, do you? No, no, I don't. Kara does. Okay. Her, her, her boss is away, so oh, uh, careful. she's, uh, she's, she's going to go. Can I oh, put it back? Okay. Well, cool. Buddy, that's not ours. <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot my water. Oh, bummer. Here, I'll put some footage on there. Okay, I'm going to go get my... Well, no, because then I can't talk to Rick. Well, I'm going right. to get my water. I'll be right back. Okay? All right, cool. Yeah, I'll yeah. talk to you for a little bit, sort of. <laughs> hey, dude, did you guys see that movie, Into the Wild? No, I haven't. Oh, we totally, totally did the same thing, right? <laughs> we haven't seen it yet. We don't see a lot of movies until like way, way long time before after the, you know they're out. <laughs> no, I get it, but but this, this is uh, this would be a movie that would be right up you guys' alley. I think you would really enjoy it. I know. I've heard. Uh, I've been. In fact, I think I have that written in my notebook to see. Oh, really? Oops. Because Kara just mentioned it to me, and I hadn't heard of it before. Yeah, I know, Pete, you, you'll notice that Kara and I say a lot of the same stuff. Oh, I would imagine so, yeah. <laughs> do not do the same thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was going to ask you what it's about, though. She didn't really have a lot of time to elaborate, so. Uh, it's about, uh, like, um, I don't know, growing, uh, growing at one with nature. That's what it's about. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like a two-and-a-half-hour movie, which usually would bore me to death. Mm -hmm. But uh, but it's like uh, it's very um, oh, no. existential or something. It's very it's a very good movie. All better. Awesome. Well, we probably can we probably can get it in the next little while. It'll right. probably well, pop up for us. It usually they usually do. Hey, um, when I when I start uh, when I start bringing in some uh, decent income, we'll send it out to you. Oh. Oh, we're gonna visit now. We'll visit you and we will bring a uh, copy. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. A legitimate copy, not a burned copy. 
Well, that would that would, would be, be definitely that would be. advisable. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if the OTC is like uh, going to be beating down my door or something. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I we don't have any we don't have we don't I don't think we have caller ID or anything so. <laughs> oh, good. So we're just like the uh, like uh, just from somewhere else and nobody can track us. Good, good, good. I like that. <laughs> I don't know nothing, man. We can't control <laughs> our callers. It's a joke. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta go. We gotta go. To <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't want to clog up your phone lines anymore, so we're going to go. He's gone. Go I, don't, I don't want to say any more things like that. I, we were just <laughs> thinking earlier the the scene in Pulp Fiction, you know. On the, are you on a cell phone? Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Why would you call me on a cell phone? <laughs> great caller, great caller. Great caller, great caller. <laughs> yeah, that's the scene. Yep. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Well, it was really good talking to you guys, and um, give Kara a hug and a big kinky kiss for me because, you know, that's how we are around Yada. Okay, hey, the, uh, the kinkier the better. She's going to get a good one tonight. <laughs> and, uh, All right, we'll talk well, to you again uh, as soon as... We're going to try and next weekend and call you guys because it's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite enjoyable. Okay, well, awesome. great. Awesome, thanks so much awesome. for calling. thank you. <laughs> and, and call Fox for us. You know, you're there in New Jersey. You're right next to New York. You can just run down to the, you know, studios and, you know, just tell them. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We, we, you got connections, you right? Any, Anything you need us to do, you let us know, and uh, we will use our first choice of powers. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be so totally cool. <laughs> then we all could right. be live all the time, uh, everywhere on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. It was great. All right. Much <laughs> love to peace in the news. <laughs> Lots yeah. of love. Bye. Right, bye. Later. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I knew we would like those guys, and I knew she wouldn't yeah. call. No, what? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Good. Hi. Um, I had a couple questions. Okay. Go for it. Um, is your real name Keith? Yes. My real name? Yes. That's insane. <laughs> and um, who would you go for in the presidential election? <clears throat> None of the above. <laughs> yeah, right now, not too pleased with the uh, the choices. <laughs> and here's my thing. They say that if I don't vote, I waste my voice. But the truth is, is that I am still an American, and if I refuse to put my name behind any of these candidates, I am exercising my voice, just not in the way that people think I should. Yeah. We, yeah, we want we want Maria Shriver to run for president. Yeah, you know so. what? I would vote for her. <laughs> I think Arnold, between Arnold the two of them, the they would probably dude. do a very good job. <laughs> but she's not running, so she's not a realistic uh, possibility right now. So we have these three, and you know, isn't it interesting? We have two two parties, three candidates. Two of them are completely not viable. Mm -hmm. One of them probably will never take office. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> And, um, yeah. how did you guys meet? How did we meet? Mm -hmm. Mutual friends introduced. Well, the first time was actually accidental. The first yeah. time was, um. In front of the liquor store. Yeah. We <laughs> pulled up and I was with my friends, our friends, and, uh, we pulled up in front of the liquor store and we went in to buy the same thing. And we ended up talking for a little while. We happened to be wearing the same thing. It was very funny. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. <laughs> We're and wearing then, all um, black. <laughs> yep. And then, uh. The next weekend, his friends, our friends, invited both of us over for dinner, and we've been together ever since. We were hooked as soon as we met. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we thought they were like they they wanted us to get together so we could all kind of hang out as couples and go do things, and we we sort of <laughs> lost touch it with them after that. <laughs> we were so into each other that we didn't have time for anybody else. After that, it was really sad. We haven't yeah. we actually lost touch with them for several years, and now they're divorced. So <laughs> it's kind of no those no those two aren't. What? No, those two are still together. No, they're not. Oh, they aren't? Uh-uh. Oh, I thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> not last we heard. Did you, anyway. When you gave birth to Duke Jr., how long were you in labor? How long was I in labor? Yeah. 19 hours. Did you use an epidural? Oh, no. <laughs> no? Nope. No. Oh. Home birth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I delivered him. I got to deliver him. It was awesome. <laughs> I delivered mine too. Oh, cool. <laughs> the doctor let me pull them out. 
Awesome. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. Where was that? Out wow. here in St. Luke. Awesome. That is so cool to hear. Well, thank you for that. Yep, thank you. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, that was thank you. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Wow. <laughs> no, yeah, no thanks so much for calling. Like, uh, our friends went to. Uh, Crazy coming. They went show. on vacation. <laughs> They're not coming on the show tonight. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, it's only going to be about three more minutes. Fine. Three more minutes. Well. <laughs> but my sister was in labor for 36 hours with her first, and she didn't have an epidural either. She did have Pitocin, which I didn't, so her contractions were stronger and harder. But she made it through, and so did I in my short little labor. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good. Hi. Um, I was just wondering about the whole epidural. Uh huh. Like, what are the pros and cons of getting one? And why you personally chose not to get one? Why I personally chose not to get one is, well, because I didn't really feel like I needed one. Um, pain for me, it, it, pain isn't. Pain for me tells us what the body needs to know at any given time to avoid damage unless it's already at a point where it's been damaged. But there's a difference between pain that's already, you know, pain from already been damaged and pain that's from damage coming, if that makes sense. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so do you think it's like part of the experience? Well, for me it was. I know women who've had painless births, but I wasn't one of them. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's just something that I didn't really, I wasn't really averse to. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just don't feel like it's an issue. Super Where do you baby. stand? Oh, I don't know. I'm expecting and I just wanted to know like what's good about it and what's not. Well, since I've never had one, I don't know what's good about it. Yeah. Except, of course, you don't have pain. Right. But apparently you still can feel what's going on. You just it, you just don't feel the pain. Which is, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah. But for me, I was a little concerned about, you know, it can slow down the baby after birth and that kind of thing. But, you know, I think that women, I think that for me, the most important thing is that you do what makes you feel confident in giving birth. It, if you don't feel like pain is something you handle very well, then be prepared to deal with it, yeah. you know? And if it's something that it's not really a big deal, then there are other things that you need to think about. You know, you need to think about every eventuality and understand how you personally feel like you will feel best dealing with it. Yeah. And you'll be fine. The one thing you have to understand is that you'll be fine. You know? You're pregnant right now? Yeah. Yeah. You, you get to the end and then you have to do what you have to do and whatever happens, happens. And Okay. <laughs> and then, three years later. <laughs> yeah. But, but you'll deal with it. You'll handle it. You know? Do you have a partner? Uh, no. Was that a no? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you don't have anyone going in with you at all? Um, family. Do you have someone who will respect your wishes and help you make sure that your wishes are respected? Oh, yeah. Can. You do? You yes. feel confident yeah. in that? Yes. Okay, as long as you have that, then you'll be fine. Because you just need someone to stand beside you when you're, when they're going to try to tell, when, when someone's going to say, this pain is too much and you're not making the, the decisions you want to make, that someone else can be there and say, we've talked this over, she knows what she's going through, we have these, you know, directions in place, and this is where I'm directed to let you make a different decision. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just feel confident with the people that are going in with you. Feel confident in yourself and you'll be fine. Okay. Okay? Well, that was very good advice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. You can do it. There you go. You can do it. You're just going to hang on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So, oh, good night. Oh. Ah, good job. You're close. Yeah. You're close. No, you were fine. We were at So, and we're probably almost off the air tonight. So Just about, yep. I'm getting uh, close. We'll say good night to everyone around the Boise, Idaho metro area and beyond. And we hope you have a great week. And we'll see you next Sunday. We'll do it again. We'll cross the bridge. <laughs> On 11 at 11.
Oh, and do it again? And do it again, do it again. Yeah. Yeah, do it again. That one. Yeah, how that one? Yeah. Oh, you know, the other thing Try I would recommend that is that if you've never seen one, someone give birth, that you should see it, because then you'll understand that you can probably handle it. Right. It's hard, and it hurts, but you can handle it. <laughs> you know, and you should take whatever measures are right. Okay, and, then. And, and uh, yeah. the partners, uh, usually you can handle it too. It, it's not so bad. Uh, partners, <laughs> it can parents, be intense, friends, though. you are. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Our house is falling down from the snow. Yeah. Well, not totally. <laughs> just part of it. That was my one little tribute to the strength of nature's destructiveness this year. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the glory. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> are we off? Yep. <laughs> When did we go off? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Oh. <laughs> uh, I wasn't watching, but probably not too long ago after.